Hey, what's up? Welcome, Hi. welcome to my house. Thank you. The famous Trevor's house. You came here at the perfect time. Uh, awesome. Trevor Scott and Afterthoughts. We're just practicing right now. We're getting ready for our big show. Okay. But I'm real glad. I'm excited for this interview. Uh, come on, I'll show you my studio. These are a couple of pictures from some of the sold out shows I've done. Um, as you can see, I play multiple instruments. Um, I'm really good. I've uh, been offered a lot of really uh, important and big gigs, um, opening and being a part of um, big musicians uh, like Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce wanted me to be the drummer, but I was too busy working on my own album at that time. Okay. Um, yeah, it's already sold a lot. Um, we're going to go um, probably multi-platinum with this one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let me show you the studio. Okay. Alright, so this is where all my magic happens. Welcome to my studio. Uh, this is one of the afterthoughts, uh, practicing one of the bass lines that I wrote. Um, yeah, I have this big show coming up. Um, it's sold out the first day I put it up. And uh, one of the afterthoughts here is just gonna, you know, help me get it nice and tight and uh, up to uh, my standards. So we're gonna, we're gonna get a good practice in. Yeah, keep playing that beat. I like that one. All right. This is the song that we're going to be opening up the album with. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly, that was perfect. That's the direction it should be going. Um, do me a favor though. You were a little, you were a little off time though. You were a little off time. I have, I have an ear for these kind of things. So um, that was really perfect though. We can try to practice it again, but um, I just really need you to try to stay on time this time, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So you're getting some really rare footage um, of the Trevor Scott and the Afterthought Project. Well, uh, we're gonna record some vocals for this new track. All right. You ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. This is the Trevor life. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. That was really, really good, actually. Um, see, the thing is, it's not unheard for me to do things in one shot. Um, what did you think? I don't know, man. It sounded a little flat to me. Just, just, a, little, just a little bit under. Flat? Uh, I, don't, I don't understand which part. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I, you know what, I don't think this is really working out, you know, I, I, I have some other uh, band members I can call, um, I don't think this is really working out, it seems like you and me, our ears aren't matching, and I have a lot of professional experience with this, and I just don't think that you're at the level of professionalism that I am, so I, I think it's best if, if you just leave, like, you sure you don't want to, no, I, I think that you should leave, um, I don't think you give good advice, and I don't think you have the right ear. Um, I, I think you're hurting this project. So uh, you, you know what, man? Just go ahead and stop their work. I'm out. Okay. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. This guy over here. Yes. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Do you want to talk about what happened in there? Oh, with Trevor? Yeah. It's like that all the time. You can't, you can't tell him anything. Mm -hmm. Always treat everyone like they're disposable, and you know it's just kind of what we've learned to expect from him throughout the time. It just it makes it hard. For him. I'm never gonna progress with a man like this. And it makes it hard to even want to hang out with him. He has, if it's not his way, it's it's no way. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, you know maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know, I don't even know if I even want to do this anymore, so. I understand. And you know, the worst part about it, I don't even know if he knows my name. Or if I'm just an afterthought. Trevor Scott. Yeah, Trevor Scott. Come in! Trevor Scott. Hi, Trevor. Oh, hey. Hey, so, um, I just want to go check up on Jason, and he seemed pretty Who? upset. Who? Uh, Jason, your band member? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, one of the afterthoughts, sure. What was wrong? Well, he seemed pretty upset about how you treated him. Well, how did I treat him? I don't um, know what you're talking about. You just, you weren't really paying attention to his feelings. You know, maybe I thought you could have been more empathetic. Hmm. I don't know. I just, uh, I don't really see what you were talking about. He seemed fine to me. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done better. I mean, I communicated with him what I thought, and, um, I actually thought practice was going really good up until then, you know? Um, I was, I was laying down some really good um, recordings, and he was kind of holding me back, but I didn't, he didn't seem that upset to me. I mean, got a lot of work to do. I got, I got to focus. I don't have time to be, uh, you know, dealing with that. I, I don't even know. He didn't seem that upset to me. Okay. But... What about you, though? What did you think about it? It's probably definitely going to be a gold hit, right? Multi-platinum, at least. Minimum. So, listen, Trevor. Um, my name is Dr. Tapia, and um, your band members and family called me because they're worried that you have a uh, personality disorder. That doesn't sound right. No. No. Well, as a clinical psychiatrist, based off my observation, I believe you have narcissism. Yeah, you know, that's, that's great, whoever you are, but um, I'm really busy right now. I'm, uh, can't you see I'm doing a lot of professional work, and um, I'm, I'm fine, I don't need your help. Um, it's great. Um, I think that you should probably just leave, though, because I'm, I'm working really hard right now, and I don't have time to hear it. Okay, just hold on a second and hear me out, okay? Okay, hold on a second. Why don't you just... Small-time interviews. If you're not Rolling Stone, I don't have time for this.